should wear this necklace. I don't know. It's kind of like Pebbles and Bam Bam, isn't it? Uh, I swear, I have nothing to wear in this closet. I hate first impressions. I hate it. I have nothing in here. Why? I don't even know why I'm bothering. Maybe I should try a jacket. Like, is this kind of like, you know, I'm professional and I got it together? Or is this like business interview? I just don't know. I don't know what to do. I hate this. I hate everything. Hmm. What about bags? Should I do contrasting color or pattern mixing? What if they don't even know what pattern mixing is? What if I just look like I don't know how to dress? And what about this hair? Like, it's just so straight, it needs some volume. Oh my gosh, now I look like a panda. Hey guys, it's Amber. So, you know those times when you just you don't know what to wear, you don't know how to do your hair, you're trying on different outfits, nothing looks right. It's like, oh my gosh, I have a closet full of clothes and I have nothing to wear and oh my gosh, should I wear this necklace? I don't know. And especially when you have first impressions like a first date or meeting the parents or a job interview or maybe you're meeting up with friends for a long time it's this hard struggle of like you want to look put together you want to look really nice but you don't want to look like you're trying too hard you don't want to look over the top if i go on a lunch date and everyone's wearing jeans and messy buns and i've got my hair ringleted like i'm all about do what you want to do and like be all fancy if you want to be fancy but sometimes you're just like i don't want to look like i'm trying too hard I don't want to go on this date and give this guy this like, I'm really into him vibe. Like maybe you're not sure if you're into him. So it's like, but I want to look nice and I don't want to look like I didn't do my hair. And it gets all kinds of confusing. So today I'm here to help you. So this is the hairstyle that we're going to be doing today. It's a very nice casual hairstyle. Which, all right, so what you're going to need is you're going to need some sort of hair protectant spray. Now, if you have fine hair, I would suggest something like the Redken Iron Shape. If you have thicker hair, I would suggest something like the Kenra Thermal Spray. That way, um, you can protect your hair from heat and it'll give your curl some hold. This is especially important if you have hair that doesn't hold a curl. Girl, you're gonna wanna get you some. So, for this tutorial, I would start off with straight hair. Now, if you don't have naturally straight hair, this can be a problem. So if your hair is naturally straight, I'd, I'd probably do this on the second day after you've already straightened your hair. You wanna make sure that your ends are nice and straight because that's going to be important to the finished look. Sometimes I get these like weird weeble wobbly things under here. So just kind of straighten it out a little bit. Okay, next thing is if you have thick hair, then I would suggest sectioning your hair. If you have fine hair, you don't necessarily have to section it. Since my hair is fine, that's what I'm gonna do. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna give a nice loose wave, but I'm gonna keep the ends of my hair straight so it just blends in with the straight look because it's like the curl part says fancy and the straight part says casual. So it's kind of like your perfect semi-casual hairstyle. So I'm just gonna start, and you can do your hair towards your face or away from your face any way you want. And I know there's a million tutorials on how to curl your hair with a flat iron. This is the way that I like to do it. I just like to put the curling flat iron in. I like to turn my wrist, pull, and then right when you get to the tail, let go. So you can see you're getting this nice wave and then you've got that straight end. And then I'm just gonna take another section, but I'm gonna let the very bottom of my hair drop out so it gives it that really kind of straight edgy look to the bottom again take it in pull the hair and then before you get all the way to the end drop it out and just let that little tail live in the straight land now when i get here i'll sometimes take two sections like i'll take this top part and then i'll take a little bottom part but again i don't have to necessarily section off my hair very simple and easy and I'm not like twisting the flat iron like this. I'm not wrapping it around and then pulling it out. This is what works for me. This is the easiest way that I find is just to put the flat iron in and then turn it. And then I might take this little section here, 
letting that little bit of the bottom part drop out. I'll show you from going the downward direction, just going in, turning it, and pulling. And then leaving that little bit of end out. So if you have some pieces like this where it's like quite a bit of straight, you can go back and just kind of like touch that up. Because I want it to be straight on the ends, but I don't want it to be like straight for days, if you know what I mean. There we go. Kind of touch that up a little. Grab this piece here. Okay, so with the back, you can go ahead. Now, if you've got layers, you want to make sure you get some of these bottom layers. You don't want it to be curly hair and then nothing on the bottom. So you can go ahead and do the exact same thing and turn. And then once you get to the almost to the end, let go and leave that straight edge out. Okay, so now that you've got mostly that top section of hair, you've got the underneath that's still straight, I just take like a comb that'll be gentle on your hair or a brush, and I just basically comb through it, relax it out so it's going to be much more of a wave and much less of a curl. So what it's going to do is just give you this nice kind of soft look there, and it's going to just kind of fade right in. I've got a little bit too much curl right there on the end, so I can just kind of straighten that out a little bit. But now you've got like very casual kind of like bombshell hair, but having those ends straight, it just looks super casual. It just kind of looks like, oh, my hair just went blown and looked like this. It doesn't look like you're, you know, overly done up, but it's a very, very beautiful look. And then if you like a lot of texture in your hair, if you've got thicker hair, you can hit, carry like a wax in your hair it'll give it some nice texture so this is like for medium to thicker hair and i wouldn't overdo this but it can give it some really nice separation and body like that i like this one but it kind of smells like man clone so you can use some wool shake which is near and dear to me because this believe it or not was a product that i used in my very first youtube tutorial and you don't want to overdo this or spray too much in one area but just kind of give it a nice little couple sprays kind of tousle it through and that's basically all you want to do it just gives it a little bit of texture and that's just if you like the look help. I hope this tutorial was helpful for you guys you guys can see how in 10 minutes or less I did this hairstyle which was easy It'd be great for a bunch of different occasions if you guys haven't already I would love for you to subscribe to my channel I make tons of different kinds of videos here and I would love to have you join me I'll see you guys later bye